Keeping our Twitch community safe and healthy is the top priority for Twitch. Today, we're excited to announce the formation of our Twitch Safety Advisory Council, which will support the growth of our community going forward. The Safety Advisory Council will inform and guide decisions made on Twitch by contributing to their experience, expertise, and belief in Twitch's mission of empowering communities to create together. The Council will advise on a number of topics, including drafting new policies and policy updates, when developing this council, we felt that it was essential to include both experts who can provide an external perspective, as well as Twitch streamers who deeply understand the creator's unique challenges and viewpoints. Each member of the council was carefully selected based on their familiarity with the Twitch community and their relevant personal and professional experience. Co Carnage. Okay, this is like another like professional person and then Z's Rain. Ferociously Steph, I don't know who this is either. The people that I know, Z's Rain and Co Carnage, I can't see anything that comes out of these two guys being a bad thing. I don't know the other ones, so I, I have no, I, I don't want to say anything. I have no idea. A few moments later. I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. Sorry. Just a fact of how I feel. You better watch out because I'm pretty cool and you can't get rid of me. Twitch is endorsing me and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, after I looked at all the uh, the clips and everything that I saw, I, I saw that this is a person. Th they think that they're a deer. This is, th th this is, this is a person that Twitch decided to elevate to be a decision maker on the rest of our fates. This is the emperor's new clothes, and nobody wants to say it. I'm sorry. But this is too much. This is simply too much. And the fact is that Twitch made a mistake by doing this because they knew that this person, that they knew who this person was and they put them out there to get harassed. It doesn't matter like what it is or anything like that. And nobody else wants to say it. Nobody else wants to talk about it because they're afraid of getting banned. So you can't even talk about something, a decision that they made and even slightly criticize it because you're afraid of getting banned. It, it's ridiculous. A and at the same time, this person can say negative things about white people and it's fine. If I said that about black people or about trans people, I would be banned. I would be gone off the platform. But they do it, and it's completely okay, and Twitch accepts it. It's the Emperor's new clothes, and everybody is afraid to say what's fucking obvious. That's all there is to it. It's wrong. If you had replaced that, what, what she said, with any other group of people, if me, XQC, Soda, Summit, Lyric, any other streamer, had said that, we would have been off the platform in a fucking second. Oh, jeez. Am I wrong? No, am, am I wrong? All I'm gonna say is I hope you enjoy the following lectures about power dynamics. What do you mean, power dynamics? She's You'll the one that, that, that she got sent there. She's the one that's been given the power. Like, no, I, I, I think that it's wrong if somebody is going to sit there and say, as a white person, I find that offensive. I don't want somebody to say negative, denigrating things about me based off of my race. I thought that this was America where people get to be treated how they act and not based off of what they look like. It's plain fucking discrimination. And if anybody had said that about anything else, they would be off the platform. But this person is being endorsed by Twitch. That is offensive to me. And it's not fair and it's wrong. And Twitch needs to fix it. It's completely fucking ridiculous. I usually don't talk about stuff like this, but we get to a point where it's too much. And we are past that point. Drama is so boring. I, I don't see how this is boring. This is the company taking and making decisions based off of things that are... It's not even about the company. It's about the person. Uh, it, it's wrong. 
It's completely fucking... Can you explain what's going on? Yeah, I, I don't like this at all. So now can we riot? Someone has to say it? Yeah, somebody in my opinion has to say this. Like, nobody else is really saying this because people are afraid of speaking out about it. And that's, I think, the worst part about it. Is like any sort of criticism is being levied as some form of discrimination or uh, transphobia or something like that. There's nothing to do with that. The words that she said are offensive. Like, that's all there is to it. In what way? They're offensive because it's it's basically ascribing negative traits to a certain race. How is that not offensive? Well, I actually don't know what was said, so I, I don't uh, know. Like, we'll look what... it up on LSF. It's all over it. Yeah, it, it's all over it. Five mask run? I'm going to do it uh, after I get this done. Yeah, it's a private company. They can do what they want. Yes, I know that. They can do whatever they want. You're right. But that doesn't mean that I have to say, okay, this is great. You're making good decisions. Like, yeah, of course they can do what they want. Uh, I'm not I'm not debating the ability, their, their autonomy to make the decision. I'm critiquing the decision regardless of that. Yeah, uh, go on strike. Uh, it, it's, it's crazy, man. Like, if anybody else had said that about anybody else, they would have been off the platform. But she can say that and then get endorsed by Twitch. It's a complete double standard. It's unfair and it's wrong. And everybody's thinking it and nobody wants to say it. That's the worst part about it. Is speaking out, you know, you risk your channel. Yeah, this is fuck. This, the music is fucking annoying, dude. The thing is, like, I don't have an opinion about, like, it, whether it's a public or private company. I'm not saying that Twitch should, like, they should not be allowed to do this. But as a user on Twitch and a person who's invested in the community on Twitch, I, I think that I deserve an opinion about this. A and that's my opinion. Uh, because people are in a marginalized group, it's stupid as fuck, but there's the argument. Just because you're in a marginalized group doesn't mean that you get to marginalize other groups. You don't fight discrimination with discrimination. Like, that's like, it's like, it's fucking double logic, dude. Of course you don't fucking do that. I don't know, McConnell, what do you think about it? I have no opinions about it at all. How many of you guys think that's actually true? And I think there's a lot of people that are just like McConnell out there. They're, they're afraid they don't want to speak up about it because they don't want to lose uh, lose opportunities. Press of a power in society. Um, I don't know about that. Like, it's not about being oppressed or anything like that. Like, I'm not saying that I'm being oppressed. Nobody's saying that I'm, I'm being oppressed at all. Um, what I'm saying is that I think everybody should be treated equally. And if you say denigrating things and degrading things about other races or types of people, I think that you should be treated the same regardless of what race or type of people that you say it about. Because like, I, I don't want to have people saying that shit to me either. I, I do also want to say, like, the people who are going out of their way to harass this person are, are also pieces of shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're also pieces of shit. Don't be, don't get me wrong. I feel like somebody needs to say something about this because... If they don't, then it just keeps getting worse. And people are basically, like, they're scared into submission, and they never want to speak out about it because they're afraid of losing opportunities. Like, that's really what it is. And I, I'm i tired of that shit, Matt. I, I am. Uh, it's 1984? Uh, yeah, basically. Uh, and oh, I, that's weird. What? There's, like, a bunch of uh, LSF threads that are that, they're locked. Yeah, because, well, because they don't want to get in trouble for, um, like, having people say bad stuff about that person and then have it be considered as, like, transphobia or, like, uh, harassment or something like that. Uh, th that's why they had to do it. Uh, like, I, I understand, like, why they did that. I think that was a good decision. Uh, it's, like, realistically, that's just the smart thing to do. You know what I mean? What just happened? Yeah, it's the smart thing to do. Uh, just watch clip. Yeah, I mean, what word is banned? It's not a word, dude. It's something- Quinn and get you banned? It's America? Well, it's not about it being, like... The thing is that there's a difference between, like, saying things that are, like, really, really bad about, like, a certain person, and, like, just putting out an opinion. I'm not a big, like, fucking, like, anti-social justice warrior or anything like that. Like, I don't like it, obviously, like, to a certain extent, I don't like it. But, like, this is too much, man. It's just too fucking much. Like, I think everybody has a line, and, like, uh, by, like, the amount of outrage about this, it's very clear this has crossed a lot of people's line.
Like, I, and like the thing is, like, I don't want to do this and like have people like consider me like, oh, well, he's on our side, and you know, he hates social justice and minorities. Like, I don't, I don't hate any of that shit. It's fucking weird. Like, but at a certain point, like, this is, it, it goes too far, and you have to speak out about it. Your problem is SGWs don't care about real problems or gay people getting killed in Morocco. Like, I don't think that's the issue at all. I, I think the problem is that companies are doing this and like giving people power that that say things that are offensive. And they just don't even care about, like, what other certain people's opinions are because they consider that person, like, oh, this person has, like, some sort of, like, privilege or ability or whatever, and so it's okay to say negative things about them. And so they basically create different classes of people that are able to be harassed and denigrated, and I think that's toxic in general. Well, the thing is, like, I don't want to get too into this or anything like that because I know that a lot of people are just going to want to talk about it forever, but uh, that's basically my opinion about it. Uh, I find it extremely offensive and... Uh, I think it's a horrible decision that Twitch made, and I, it, it, it's, a, as a person who is white, it, it is offensive to me to have other people denigrate and say bad things about me because of my skin color. Like, yeah, I, I don't like that at all. Hey, progression-based Minecraft, they should put McConnell in, car in charge of the Twitch TOS. I don't know, McConnell, what would you change if you, if you had control of the Twitch TOS? Oh, God. Oh, man. I just put everything back to how it was in like 20, probably 2015, 2014. Yeah, I, I think that was maybe a good time. Si maybe 16. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, I, the only thing, all right, so the only thing that I don't like is harassing other users. I think that there should be a rule against harassing other people. Uh, like creating a, uh, a community around that, doing that, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, everything else I totally agree with.